Hi, this is Leanne at Complete Payroll. Welcome to Payroll Country. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Employee Maintenance menu in Advanced HR. Beginning at my dashboard, I'm going to click on HR Admin, and here I will find the Employee Maintenance menu where I can work with my specific employee records. Depending on your security settings, you may be able to add, edit, deactivate, and delete specific employee records. Many of the menu items in Employee Maintenance are dependent on tables set up through the menu items in Company Setup. For example, under the menu item Achievement in Company Setup, we have created a table showing our different achievement types. Now, in the same menu item Achievement in the Employee Maintenance menu, we have used those achievement types to create employee records. In this video, I'll describe each category and then we'll go into detail on a select few. So we're going to start with employee summary. Here we'll see a grid with all of our active employees and we can see a, a summary of their information by the categories going across the top of the grid here. From this screen, I can also start the following tasks. I can add a new hire, begin my onboarding prep, or I can start the self-service setup. I can also take the action of terminating an employee by clicking on this button right here that will start the termination process. So at the top of this grid, um, I have two filters. I've got a regular filter and advanced filter. The regular filter allows me to use this to search for an employee by perhaps their last name, or I can search for employees within a certain position by filtering appropriately. And then the advanced filter allows me to select by hire date between a start and an end, or if I want to see um, all of my employees, including my inactive employees, I simply will click on the All button and Apply Filter, and now I have a list of every employee. To work with an employee record, within the grid I have a column under EPO link, and if I click that arrow, it's going to take me on a shortcut to our position and organization records for this employee. You can see it has a summary of their history here and I can make appropriate changes to the fields that are listed under here. When I'm ready to go back, I simply close this window. If I need to make any further edits, I can use the Add Position Organization screen, but I'm going to go back into my employee summary. To see the full personal record for an employee, I will just click on the row where their name is and that brings up their profile with a summary at the top and then I can make changes to each of the items under the different categories that are listed here. And once I've made my changes, I simply click Save Changes at the bottom of the screen. So now that we've taken a look at the shortcuts and edits that are available under Employee Summary, let's go back to our Employee Maintenance menu to see the other functions that we have available. In our menu, we have the following items. Starting with Achievement that I demonstrated earlier in this video, here we can add, edit, or delete achievements that our employees have earned. The next feature is Alternate Rate. This is where I can enter in additional pay rates for an employee. We have our green New Plus button, so I'll simply click on that to add a new rate for an employee by selecting the employee's name, I'll assign a new rate number, a start date, and then the hourly rate that I would like to add for their record. From this table, I can also edit the items that are currently there. And finally, if I want to uh, remove a record, I have the uh, delete option here under Actions. So going back to our Employee Maintenance menu, our next items are the Certificate, if we want to record certifications for an employee. We have the ability to add class enrollment for an employee. Um, we would set up the class at the company setup, and then to enroll an employee, I simply click on the classes, and I would click New to enter in a new class for that employee. This is outlined in our video of Advanced HR Company Setup. Compensation is where we're going to record our changes for employees' pay rates, whether they're hourly or salary. I simply click on their name again, and I can make any changes here as needed. And I'm also able to enter in a change reason if I'd like. I've got a drop down. I could also add a reason here as well to the table that I would have previously set up 
in the company setup area. The next item is direct deposit. Here on the direct deposits grid, I can see all of the employees that are currently set up. If I'd like to add a new direct deposit, I can click on the new button. Or I have direct deposits that are in the status of pending, meaning that the employee had started the process through the employee portal. And then I, as the administrator or supervisor, can simply click on that item by clicking the row, where we'll see that the employee has already entered in the bank information, that it is a checking. I can make the decision if I would want this to be in pre-note, yes or no, and then change the status from pending to approved. The next two items on our employee maintenance menu are documents, either employee or in company. Employee, we'll take a look at here, and this is where I can simply um, add documents to an employee's record. For example, their photo or even their tax forms. Similarly, we can go into the company document and we can upload perhaps a memo about open enrollment, or maybe you want to upload your employee handbook that you can attach to their record in the future. Next is education. If I would like to record um, the education for my employee, I uh, can select new, where then I can add um, a code for their education, their description, and the institution if needed. Next is our emergency contact information, and which we would have completed during our new hire, uh, but here we can go into the record and make any changes, or we can actually add a new record as well. Our employment detail, this is where if we needed to rehire an employee, we can come into this area, or we can add a new position or organization level using this wizard as well. Next, we'll take a look at I-9. Employees are able to complete their portion of this form electronically, and here I can see the status of this process. In this example, the employee has completed Section 1, but Section 2, the employer responsibility, is incomplete. I can now open this record, and I will see that the documents have been uploaded. I see verification that the employee portion Section 1 is complete, with all the details listed below, including the employee's signature. Now under Section 2, I can take action and complete the employer portion of this form. And when everything is complete, I can sign it electronically, click Save, and generate the finished copy. Our next category is Labor Allocation, which will allow me to uh, divide my employees uh, labor distribution between different departments. So next on my list of categories is license where I can record any licenses that need to be stored for an employee depending on their position if that is needed. So our next category is note and this is where a manager or administrator can record a uh, communication that they've had with an employee and leave a record of that communication here in the system. The pay stub menu option allows me to see and download a PDF version of an employee's pay stub. I'd simply select the employee and then I'm shown a grid with a summary by their check date and I can see their gross wages. If I want to download their pay stub, I simply click on the icon to download the record and then I can just open that document and view the employee's pay stub. Please keep in mind that your employees or base users can access their pay stubs um, on their check date and they have a history of their pay stubs within their employee portal as well. Under our next menu item of review, this is where we can view a list of the employees completed and or scheduled uh, performance reviews and with the appropriate documentation attached. And we can go into a record by clicking on the employee and we can see the status of that particular review. And if we wanted to add a new record, we have our new green plus button, and also we can delete a record here as well. The next item is skill, where we can record skills that our employees have based on a table that we've built in company setup. So our last three categories are taxes. We've got federal, state, and our tax form. And if we click into the federal tax category here, this screen allows you to view and update an employee's federal tax information. Simply click on the row to open the record, and then I can make the appropriate changes and any overrides as needed. To review or edit an employee's state tax information, I'll click on the tax menu item. And here I want to look for my employee through the search bar and then their state information will be um, on the grid below. 
or if I want to add a new state record, I'll simply click on the new button. Then our final menu item is tax form where we can view electronic tax forms per employee. So this concludes our review of Advanced HR Employee Maintenance. For more information, please see your Advanced HR user guides, talk to your dedicated customer service rep, or see our Advanced HR video library at completepayroll.com. Thank you for joining me and have a great day.